hopefully this video is going to make it out to you so I can actually say hello. Hi! <laughs> I'm going for a 80cm by 30cm piece. Go big or go home essentially. I've just done another pour that didn't go especially well and I'm putting it down to not having enough experience with pouring medium. So I'm going back to my old trusty recipe. I'm going to get good results one way or another. So I have got a mix here. They're all ready mixed paints. I've got one part paint, one part water and one part hobby glue. It's not, um, not a clear glue like I have been using but it's by the same company, Script. So I'll just quickly show you as usual what paints I'm going to be using and then I'll show you what I'm going to make. So I have got Colvin & Co Rose. This is Artist Acrylic and a cheap Hobby World craft paint which is neon pink. So I've mixed them to make my own pink, which is a really vibrant colour. And once again, now I've got a bit of a concern that this colour might get lost because they're both cheap paints. I have got a neon acrylic purple there which is Chilton Arts and I've got a Hobby World Ready Mixed Purple Paint. So I've put both of those two together. And for my next colour, I'll just show you what the purple looks like. Beautiful! My next colour, I have got one cheap paint, one acrylic paint. So this is Talon that it's made by. It's a very dark blue. And then I have got Brunel Franklin's Ultramarine Blue. That's mixed me up a really dark yet vibrant colour. There it is. What have we got next? Oh, my favourite. So again, I've stuck with the one acrylic paint, one cheap paint. So this is called Ultramarine. Ultra Although it's nothing like the actual Artist Acrylic Ultramarine. Can you see any difference between them? There's a big difference on this end. <laughs> so yeah, I have got Cerulean Blue, Brunel Franklin's Artist Acrylic. And I've mixed them together. I also have a black. Now this black is from yesterday and earlier and I've just added to it to make more paint. So it has a little bit of dimethicone lurking in there and it has a little bit of pouring medium but quite literally not even a centimetre of the pre-mix that contains this dimethicone and pouring medium. <laughs> so I've just added to it and that is with my standard pre-mix which was Brunel Franklin's Mars Black and Clear Glue. White. I have run out. See how beautifully I've cleaned my bottle? <laughs> I'm not wasting any of this paint. This is Reeves Titanium Whites. I've also got that made up with the Hobby Glue. It's a pre-mix. Okie dokie. So since I've got Dimethicone potentially lurking in the black, all I've done is I've added three drops of silicon. Ooh. <laughs> Three drops of silicon to the neon pink and three drops of silicon to the cerulean blue, which is a really intense blue. Now I have a plan. Should really just do something that I know works, shouldn't I? But I've got a, my long canvas like the one I did with the lava ocean mix up. So I intend to put a stretch of black all across the top of the canvas landscape wise and across the bottom and then in the middle I'd like white and then I'm going to do an open cup with this thing that I've just ransacked off my dust <laughs> um, just a little tube and I'm going to be doing that like through the white like this and I'm also going to do a flip cup as well. In a normal cup, I'm going to run that in a less obvious curve. So more of a wave with the, the drag 
And the open coat going like this. So, I think I've told you everything that I really need to tell you. So, I'll move the canvas down and get right on. Okay, so, you can see the canvas here. I have done nothing to this. Basically out of impatience. I've put little pegs in the back. I haven't even put water on it because I just want to paint and I want it to work. <laughs> and I'm just being impatient. So what I'm going to do first is dive right in. I'm going to put a thick bit of black across the top. A thick bit of black across the bottom. And you know like a third each perhaps and then white across the middle just get some gloves I'm hoping for this one I'm really hoping it goes well these are pretty much my favourite colours my go-to colours. <clears throat> Excuse me. Right. I'll just put a load of black on. even more black. Unfortunately, unless I put this camera on the ceiling, there's not much way you're going to be able to see the full piece. I don't want to make you sick every two minutes when I move the camera around to follow. Okay. I think I should probably take my hands and rub some of this black paint in. You know what, I think if I put a hair bobble around my wrist, I might keep this glove up a little bit. I end up with about an inch of glove on every finger at the end, just doing nothing except for making a mess. I wonder if I can buy different sized gloves. I don't know if I have a clue what size they are. I bet they're normal people's size. <laughs> <laughs> I took my tablecloth off the table because it's got all of these paws all over it. So this is what I'm walking on as we speak. I've got no surface space left whatsoever. So yeah, my slippers. <laughs> you can see that? Yeah, they're red. issues spreading this white out. Change plan. I can't put them black gloves near my white. I get black in the white every single time anyway. <laughs> Love it. 
taking off the gloves, the hands that are just as painty as the gloves. I can never keep them off. Right, let's see oh, how thick this light is. <laughs> There's white footprints everywhere. Yeah, we're good. I'm going to pour loads of white on here. Keep a little bit for in my cup. slippers and go barefoot. Yeah. Ah, oh, my mucky pup. What am I going to use to spread my paint about? This looks cool. I've got a load of these as my kids get bored of things like this. I commandeer them and they end up in here thinking that I'll, um, <coughs> excuse me, uh, paint them, resin coat them, do all kinds of things with them. Yeah. I'm just bring over my little squeegee bottle of white in case I want to add more into it. Can you see? Maybe. It's pretty. Now one of my issues is how I go about getting my cup on. I don't want to tip either the canvas or the cup. <laughs> I'm just going to lift it up for a minute, hopefully not lose all my paint, but just enough for me to slap the cup on. Oh, I was going to go at the opposite end, wasn't I? Think, think, think. I'm okay at this end. As long as it stays on my cups. Oh, yeah. Okay. So that's on there. Looking mighty beautiful. So all I'm going to do with this one is just a basic wiggly line in the white. going for. <laughs> Just move it a tiny bit. See if I can't fill in the bits where I really scraped the canvas. Oh wow, it is doing some pretty things. Tell you what, it's okay. What I'll make sure I do is, ooh, not that. When I come back again with my other one, I'll go on the bits that I missed. That makes sense to me. Oh wow, it's really pretty. That's what we wanted. I'm just putting some more white along here so that there's less chance of it scraping on the bottom. I actually have right real hope for this one so what i'm going to do first is just take this cup 
You put all of these little bits in that are left from the previous cut. translate that onto the canvas now. Right, so I'll put some white in. The idea with this being open is that when I get part way through and realise I've not enough paint, I can just chuck some more in the top. That's going to be the hard bit, is making myself stop. It's just so natural to do it in one go. Right. Here we go. Stop for more paint. That seems about right. Well, I could have just destroyed it. <laughs> what did you do, really? Wyatt is arguing. So we should have mixed more if he wanted more. I'm going to move again. That didn't really work. Scraping the canvas far too much. Although over here, there's a couple of really cool cells. I think if I manipulate the paint that there's actually a lot of different colours under this section. This section's okay too. It's just across here, I've really scraped against the canvas and that didn't do it any good at all. What I'm going to do now is get my heat gun out, blow this paint about a little bit. One side amazing, and the other side needs to crawl away and not talk to me. Hmm. Now, the only thing left to do is destroy this gorgeous area. Before I do, I'll give you a really quick look. Check it out. That's the first time I've got really pretty cells like that. And that was the paint beneath the layers. Oh, look. Look at the pretty bits. And then we get down here and it all goes a little bit pear shaped. This part's so great. It just didn't do it. And then this part gets pretty again. Let's get back to the amazing bit and we can pretend I'm amazing. I was gone. The camera died so I went inside to get the plug. I grabbed a brew and I decided I'm coming back because this end, well it was obviously coming back but this end is hideous. I scraped all of my paint away with the tube by accident and the other side is so beautiful I need to do something to make this big puddle add up. So I've got my tube back on, I've got quite a bit of touching up to do, I've got some blank canvas here things like that, a little bit of blank in the middle, I scraped that hard, I have to fix it. <laughs> right, so I'm going to begin by pouring some black in this corner just around the little cup.
just going to lift it ever so slightly and drag it out. didn't take me to the end because I let it all out there. Right. Now then, I'm just going to go along and fill up any areas with white that I've not filled up. First and foremost, I am going to torch it before I move it. I think I'm going to use this big beast again. Move it dangerously. Right, what? a big mess going on, but I haven't lost hope with it yet. You know, excuse me, I've been out here all day enjoying myself. You know, I don't really care when they don't turn out, it's all learning. another thing that I have to learn to do. <laughs> Wear gloves, keep gloves on. Okay, that's quite even. I'm going to bring along the heat gun for a moment. Still got one super duper end and one rubbish end. Oh no, I can't make it any worse.
having a horrible time of it, guys. Yeah, them geese. I chuck all my paints together into one cup and then I throw them at it. Yeah? Yeah, I agree. And with the purple. Do you know, I could swipe it, couldn't I? Ooh, that's got me excited. It's about the only thing that's left saving grace for this piece. I haven't decided if I am or not, but I could. I think I might. I think I might. Because this is just all mushy. I don't want mushy. It started off amazing. I snapped a couple of pictures to send to somebody that I'm talking to. Hello! <laughs> and um, they were amazing. But they didn't show the true state of the rest of the piece. I'm not giving in. I'm going to swipe it. See what amazing things I can make happen. This paint's been sitting around here on the canvas now quite a while. I need to be going in and eating and stuff. I haven't even thought about it. What I'm going to do is swipe black. Swipe that black. It's going to be stunning. If I keep saying it one of these times, it really will be. Right, so I get my black, I'm going to dab it all over this end, I'll just tip it slightly to give myself a, a head start. Right, do do, I'm excited again. <laughs> that was a good idea, lots of black on this end. Should I clear off some of that rubbish? Can you see me? Mm, yes. I'm just clearing off a little bit of this cack to give myself room with the black. Come on, we need another one like the beautiful orange. That's right, that I did. Everybody loves that one. Right, um, the only issue is I like order a lot more than this. I really like to place my colours down neatly for a swipe. But hey, anything is better than what I just had. Do you know, I've probably been doing this video for an hour and a half. I wonder how much I can shrink it down to. Righty, 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 right. Where it all gets beautiful or worse. <laughs> and then I hope my arms are long enough. Right, we're in. We're in action. Let's hope it's a beauty. Nope, it's not. 
I didn't capture any paint. <laughs> Try again, this time, jobs are good. I can't see to know what level I'm at. I'm going to take another one of these little dominoes and um, see if I can't sort this little area out. Beautiful, spacey, midnighty sky things happening. Okay. Much, much more organised than it was. I'll stick you back up for a second. Let me get the heat gun on it for a minute. So that should really move the paints, the layers. I don't want to blow it across the place. I'm going to try and go from quite high up. I'm going to ignore the places that are a little bit already. I'm going to work on the areas that I think could come out more. I've totally forgot about my mask as well. Guys, when you're talking to Silicon, wear a mask. Same with the Mexican. Right, I'm good. I've created a massive mess. Made a masterpiece out of my hand. <laughs> so I'll bring you down now to show you some of the things that are going on. Once again, it's not going to be anywhere near as clear as it would be if I was on my phone. I'll get a few pictures to add in with my video. Right, what have we got? You're pretty. <laughs> Yay! Big cells, little cells, multicolored cells. Oh yes, we've got a happy Louie at last. Mm. 
is a little piggy. And then I'll bring it back. Oh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> I think he was somewhere in the market. Hmm. Now don't get me wrong, this could be so much better. But everything I'm trying these past few days is not going the way I have in my head. What do you think? Should I get rid of that stupid pink dot? I think I should, shouldn't I? So I'll get rid of the pink dot. Select a few pickies. I'll neaten up this end nearest me because then the drips are atrocious. Yeah, this camera's really not picking them out properly. You can see them now, and that's what counts. So, those of you that have stuck through this with me, yay! Go me! It's not bad at all, it's actually beautiful. If nobody buys this one, it's mine. Now all of this black is quite filled with cells as well, but it's not really picking it up. Oh gosh, it goes on forever. Certainly a big piece. Now this was silicon and demethicon. It wasn't so much of a, a catastrophe. Well, it was all the way through. I pulled it off in the end. Thank you all for joining me. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Even if it was a tad stretched out. Okay, thanks a lot. I'll stick some pictures on and speak to you soon. Bye.